The popularity behind the use of iodine for hypothyroidism has been largely fueled by iodine's use, centuries ago, in the treatment of goiters. This, along with other false beliefs regarding your body's need for iodine, has led some practitioners to recommend that you saturate yourself with iodine because of the ridiculous belief that more is always better. Iodine toxicity is a bigger problem than most people realize. Seeing as how the recommendation for iodine is currently 150 micrograms per day, it should be easy to understand how one can effortlessly achieve the recommended amount. Getting enough iodine in your diet is oftentimes achievable in a single meal. A single serving of fish with a potato alone can provide you more than enough iodine in a single serving. This is without the inclusion of additional sources of iodine that most people are exposed to on a daily basis, such as iodized salt. Avoid iodine supplements. To give you an idea of the potency of many iodine supplements today, most people are using 12.5 mg to 100 mg of iodine daily, which equals 80 to 650 times the recommended daily allowance. To put that into perspective, there are some studies that demonstrate the toxic effects of even a small excess of iodine, from as little as 1 mg. Blindly taking iodine supplements puts you at a much greater risk of iodine toxicity, which can further damage your thyroid, and oftentimes contributes to the development of autoimmune thyroiditis. Avoid iodized salt. During the mid to late 1800s, iodized salt was beginning to be used to reduce the prevalence of goiters in many countries. During that time, iodine deficiency was a much bigger issue. Seeing as how as little as one quarter teaspoonful of iodized salt provides almost your entire recommended daily allowance of iodine, it should be easy to see how the use of iodized salt can have quite the dramatic effect on your daily iodine intake. It is also well known that hypothyroid sufferers lose sodium rapidly through their urine. Because of this, their need for salt increases, which only further compounds this problem and increases your risk of iodine toxicity. Because of this, it is advisable to get your iodine from other dietary sources and to avoid iodized salt altogether. Avoid seaweed and other excessive sources of iodine. The idea that seaweed, kelp, and other sea vegetables are rich in thyroid, and therefore must be healthy for your thyroid, has led many to label iodine-rich foods like seaweed, as superfoods. But the extremely high iodine content, can quickly become counterproduction. Many types of seaweed provide, as much as 4,500 micrograms of iodine per one quarter ounce, which is 30 times more than the recommended daily allowance. Focus on natural foods that contain healthy amounts of iodine. The easiest way to avoid iodine toxicity is to simply focus on eating a naturally healthy diet that contains healthy amounts of iodine. However, the topic of a truly healthy diet is quite complex as there are many other factors aside from iodine content that are important in overcoming hypothyroidism. These dietary factors, along with a step-by-step -step plan on how to heal your thyroid, are discussed in detail in the Hypothyroidism Revolution program, written by Tom Brimeyer. Don't fall for unscientific testing. Many practitioners, who support using high doses of iodine for hypothyroidism, also push various tests to determine your potential for iodine deficiency, most of which have been proven to be scientifically invalid. Avoiding iodine supplements, iodized salt, and other foods that are abnormally high in iodine, is a necessary and important step in avoiding iodine toxicity, and properly regulating thyroid function. Of course there is always the possibility, that you could truly be iodine deficient, and if you do suspect this, then do yourself a favor and get the proper testing you need, to be properly diagnosed. Blindly taking an iodine supplement, or any other supplement for that matter, is an accident waiting to happen. Find out more in the description.